Oh, they're at it again. So at the time of recording, Shakhtar have confirmed that he's being sold to United. United have confirmed that we've agreed a deal with him. Fred has even put this on his Instagram where he's put proud to be a red. Hashtag Fred is red. But it's not actually official yet. I am waiting for this official announcement from United that he is here. I can't wait to see him in the club colours. And we know we're going to get some cringeworthy video, which it's now got to the point where I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. If United don't announce him by him taking off the mascot head, then they can go f themselves. I actually can't decide if that would be awesome or the worst thing I've ever seen. That's what's going to happen. Everyone just prepare your cringe muscles for it. It's coming. I can feel it. Marcus Rashford, obviously the top comment. He says Fred the Red. See, he already knows what angle United are going to go with this. Andreas Pereira is in there in the comments. And FC Shakhtar as well. Wishing their old player good luck, which is always nice to see, isn't it? Wait, hang on a minute. That's not Fred. Who is that? A YouTuber? attention-seeking. I've said it before and I'll say it again. How can you be a professional footballer and not be verified on Twitter though? They literally verify anyone. Look at Howson. So Fred's here tweeting, asking for people to subscribe to his YouTube channel. I can't stand this. Begging for subs on Twitter. It's proper cringe with. Oh, there it is. I mean, in Mancunian, it's Delot, but everyone online is trying to tell me Delo, so... The lot are signed for Manchester United. Look at these pictures that he's posted. His old teammate there wishing him luck on Instagram. Lovely to see, innit? Everyone's dead happy for him. It's like when your mate gets a new job and you're all buzzing for him. I like it. I mean, you can just proper tell by the way he's acting online that he is just a 19-year-old lad. Absolutely ecstatic to be playing for one of the biggest clubs in the world. I'm excited to see this guy go. Post of the week by Luke Shaw by a mile. The front page of Shortlist magazine. Jesse Lingard featuring on it with a caption, your dad's least favourite footballer, because that's relevant for most of us, isn't it? And Luke Shaw has sent it to Lingard and put, my dad actually quite likes you, mate, which I love. Either, either Luke Shaw's just having a laugh there or the joke's gone way over his head. I'm more interested in some of the comments on this picture that he's put, because you would have think that De Gea fans would be there for him and, you know, wanting to support him going into the World Cup. But this is a comment from Graham at MUFC, clearly puts United first. He said... Stay away from them Real Madrid wankers. <laughs> Tony V is on Instagram as well, looking cool as always. I tell you what, that's a man who looks good dressing up or dressing down. Eric Bailly with the comment as well. Big respect for his captain. It's nice to see, of course. Bailly is in the comment of this Ashley Young post as well, giving him his support. I love that he just, he just sat there on Instagram, isn't he? Bored. All his mates are off enjoying himself at the World, World Cup. All he can do is scroll and double tap. That's all he's got to do. I was going to make a joke about not knowing who Fosu Mensa is because he's been on loan last season, but there's a comment underneath by someone who I genuinely forgot existed. Alexander Butner. Do you remember him? So last week on Small In Watch, we of course caught him being a little bit of a daredevil walking across a very narrow canyon. Let's see what he's up to this week. Nice leisurely bike ride around Vietnam. Absolutely lovely. That's more like it. He won't get injured there, will he, I suppose? I'm looking forward to the next instalment of Chris Smalling's Extreme Adventures. Catch it next week on This Week at Man United. <laughs> Here we see Rojo bullying a young child. That picture is so odd. I know it's because of the angle that Messi is stood and he's not actually that much shorter than Rojo, but he genuinely looks like his son there. Connor Willis in there saying the greatest player in the world and Lionel Messi. Standard lad. Football bants. I like it. Smalling, not the only one into extreme sports either. Here we see Ander Herrera jet skiing it around Dubai. Life is better by the sea, he put, which is a great caption for someone who plays for a team in Manchester. Oh, Curtis LG1990 has actually figured it out, though. He's put, you have Manchester Canal, what more do you need? Wouldn't recommend swimming in it, though, mate. Great picture here of the most powerful man in France with President Macron. Connor, you, I got the inspiration from you. You knew I was going to say it. Romelu Lukaku doing Romelu Lukaku things and scoring for Belgium. Not sure about that kit. I'm not sure if I hate or love that kit. I think I hate it. Marcus Rashford here dropping the cover of his new mixtape. I thought I'd seen him on Market Street, actually. But he is a professional footballer, let's not forget. Uh, he's put up a video here of him doing kick-ups around the park which is two minutes and 50 seconds long. Um, Marcus, I do love you, pal. Am I going to watch three minutes of you doing keepy-uppies, though? Probably not. 
Anthony Marshall here being the coolest person alive. Seriously, can you imagine being on a date and looking across the table and that looking back at you? It, that is a piercing stare. He's the coolest guy going. He's, he's too smooth, Anthony Martial. I've not even seen him sweat while playing football. That's probably why he doesn't get picked, actually, isn't it? It was a joke, right? I am I'm part of Martial FC. It's a joke. I'll, come on, Martial. Fosu Menza in the comments with the love heart emoji. Joel Pereira with the love heart eyes emoji as well. I, I love all his mates in the comments just like completely hyping him up. But the World Cup does start next week. I'm expecting some big things from social media. If you see anything that's caught your eye, make sure you tag us in it at Full Time Devils or me personally at Radio underscore Gaz. And we'll talk about it next week on This Week at Man United. So I'll see you there, yeah? Right. Laters. Levels. Levels. Good song, that. Good pop ditty. <laughs> I love that. No, I've been I've been aware of it. I'm just thinking one sec. Hang on, Alexander Butner. Good God, man. Don't put that in.